Microphone activated. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Reason Gaming uh, TV. Of course, as always, we have uh, the knife round. Today with me, I have uh, Monsieur Chewy. How are you, Chewy? Bonjour, je m'appelle Chewy. Very, very uh, good uh, for uh, you. Uh, Vivi, how are you today? Uh, comment ça va? I'm very, very good. Thank you uh, very much. And now we have the knife round, and here we go. It is Tess. Tess, he is knifing Tess with the first kill. And now here is Z1 chasing him down. And very good, this Karambit. Karambit kills everywhere. They are chasing him down. And Virtus Pro, the team from Ketovice, the team, the IEM champions, win the knife round. And. Uh, you know, the thing is about the accents, the way I see it is that when we have <laughs> new viewers, new viewers who aren't actually used to watching us, they must freak out so much when the accents kick in on the knife round, you know what I mean? Right, I know. <laughs> Everybody loves it, like the chat just blows up yeah. every time, like, what the hell? Nobody seems to have heard of doing weird accents on the knife round. I'm going to have to work on it. I should really be doing it considering I'm studying voice at university, so I should really be good at accents, but I'm pretty <laughs> terrible at them, especially in comparison to you. So. Verdas Pro winning the knife round. We saw them play this map earlier on and they just absolutely dominated on it. Mm. Now it looks like they could do again, depending on if Courage can pick themselves up after that crazy oh. comeback which happened, and that's a good way to start. Taking out Pasha with a headshot on the Glock. Lovely flinch kind of reactions on there. But Virtus Pro looks so great on the CT side of this map when we saw them just a few hours ago, Kai and I. I think it's going to be a really good match if Courage can uh, take some good rounds here on the T side. Well, Courage now have his one man advantage. Let's we'll see whether they can build on that. Taz is lurking it around. This uh, window area, he's surrounded. He will go down. And now can the Russians or the team from the CIS actually capitalize on this man advantage they have? Obviously it was a two-man advantage, but Bayali decided, right, I'm going to try and narrow things down. Bayali, lovely shot. How did he manage that? And it's three versus two. Snacks has to begin the rotation around. And it's Snacks and Neo up against Blade, World, Edit, and Simple. So Neo, he's got the bomb right in front of him. The T's have no idea he could potentially even come from behind. They will spot him. Three versus one. The nade goes over. And Neo hits the floor. One nil. And, well, who would have guessed it? Courage? Yeah, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed what I'm eating right now? And I know it sounds really weird and this is completely off topic, but I'm currently sat here eating cold Yorkshire puddings because I'm that hungry. So I'm casting Counter-Strike in front of a thousand people and eating Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire I never pudding. thought I would see the day. Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. pudding. All right then, so we'll edit with the UMP. Of course, now the T's winning that pistol round. They have this uh, weapon advantage and can Prizrak put it into action? He most certainly can. Picks up Pasha's CZ-75 as a present for his uh, hard work. And where are Courage going to try and go now? You really would on paper expect them to dominate after winning the pistol round. You would on to Courage, but Snacks is going to look to wreak havoc. He will get that first frag. And can he make it more than just one? Neo's lurking around. Window area, he's using that smoke to his advantage. He spots one, he pulls the trigger, but Nea, whoa, he can't kill anyone. He's got one coming from his right. Neo oh, onto ouch. World Edit, and ouch indeed. It's Simple, Blade, and Prizak up against. Oh, the team kill, the team kill from Simple, nailing his own teammate in the head. And Snacks is all by himself. He has Bison in hand, and he has an angry Blade, and an even angrier Simple after that team kill on this A bomb site. So is the bomb gonna go down? Snaps can hear it going down now. He most certainly can. He's gonna peek and he's gonna take something very, very special for Snacks to pull it off now. Oh. He's got Blade on 4 HP. That flash will go over and come on Snacks. We know how good you are. We saw him pull a clutch off at the Intel Extreme Masters but unfortunately this is online and 2-0 to Courage but Virtus Pro still managed to do a heck of a load of damage to Courage when you, you know, consider yeah, Courage they did. had the submachine gun advantage. Mm. And this is why they're so deadly. I mean, although they didn't take the pistol round and Courage looked really strong there, and it's exactly what Courage needed because, I mean, like, you could say that momentum's kind of even when the two squads start as you would because it's new squads facing up against each other. But at the same time, oh, Neo just destroyed World Edit there. And it looks like he's going to get a second one. Does get taken down to 10 HP, so rightly backs away. But Virtus Pro, we saw them dominate on this map earlier, which is obviously going to give them some good momentum. And we actually watched Courage just a few minutes ago lose their game after being a, about 13-5 up. They lost 16-4 
14, lose, only winning uh, four rounds on the second half there, which really just shut them out of the game completely, pretty much. Um, and that was against alternate attack. So you would say that the um, the momentum is in favour of is Virtus Pro, sorry, of that sense. But at the same time, you oh. never really know. And Taz, oh wow, just shutting down Blade. And this is why they are so deadly. And this is why you can never, ever, ever take them lightly. Even on a Nico round, everyone's going to try and even things up though. But another team kill comes in. Yep. It's now a two versus three. Simple and Prozac are the last ones left alive for the team. And still, even though the Courage are on Eco, this is just way too close for comfort. Very close for comfort. Prozac, he was one versus two. And Taz has that AK in hand that he picked up off a dead opponent. Is Taz going to get the hat trick? Is Prozac going to get the hat trick? It's going to be Prozac. And well, Virtus Pro, they kept on pushing Courage in these Deco rounds. But Courage have got the 3-0 score which they probably deserve because they won the pistol round yeah indeed and of course now you can see the buy situation that's coming in for Virtus Pro you never know they could take this one although they haven't really got much to play with after this round if they do lose this you know the buy situation is pretty horrible for them if they do um, lose this round still they've been pushing those ecos right to the wire so if they can you know take this one and um, play it and start they could come back into this game quite easily but we will see so 3-0 is your score you would expect that though after you win the pistol round to take the two rounds after that mm -hmm. and go three rounds in front we will see if Virtus Pro are going to answer back having a look at where Courage are heading now they are all over towards apartment snacks is going to be the first one in line to try and stop them though putting some shots down I think he took simple down to 62 HP there not much else going on though slow round so far and no casualties as of yet no casualties as of yet, but they do know that Courage are lurking in and around this app's area. They're making a lot of noise as well. So Neo is rotated around short, and surely the train of terrorists now will drop down, but there's smokes absolutely everywhere. Blade runs past Snacks, and there we go. There's first blood from Snacks, and Prizrak has walked right into the lack of Pasha and Neo. They will go down, and Courage look good. Oh. Very good from Simple, and Taz is all alone now. He's in kitchen, he's got pots and pans flying everywhere. A bit of kitchen paper in front of him, but Simple with his second. And my word, courage, courage, courage. They played well today, but to be 4-0 up against Virtus mm. Pro on Mirage. Brilliant, absolute brilliant. That's I mean, that's impressive on its own, and especially with the way that they have been shutting this out. Yeah, Virtus Pro have got close every now and again, but it shows resilience if a team like Virtus Pro are getting close to winning on their eco rounds, and you can still shut them out. That really does show some good work. And especially, as we've talked about before, Courage with their performance uh, just, you know, a bit earlier on against alternate attacks on Inferno. That choke, pretty much, is probably one of the only ways, really, to describe that. I don't mean to be horrible to them, but it pretty much was with the situation that they were in. To come back and then win four rounds straight off the start here on Mirage is really, really good for them indeed. So we will see what's going to happen. And you see two kills coming in as soon as I say that. Taz, now Z1 and Prizrat, that's going to be. So now it's a two for one. It's going to be a three for one trade even. It's actually a four on two situation. So as soon as I do say that, when Virtus Bro are putting their backs against the wall, they're in a tricky buy situation. They're coming out strong here. Let's see what World Edit can do. He's going to get one. Pasha with a 3k though. That's his hat trick with a CZ75. And as soon as I say that Courage are looking strong, Virtus Pro just come in with hardly any money to their name, and they're going to take that round, get the first one on the board, and heading into the sixth round, the score is going to be 4-1. 4-1 indeed. And again, you know, after Courage won the pistol round, Virtus Pro, like you said, they pushed Courage down to the Y with those CZ75s. Yeah. Uh, CZ and finally, it's worked for, uh, for Virtus Pro. So they do have that first round on the board, and they've got big weapons, uh, which all Virtus Pro fans would be more than happy to hear. Neo, little does he know that Simple is right beneath him. And the uh, the bomb is just at the top of mid, but of course Pasha, who normally lurks about in the window area, isn't actually there. So World we'll Edit will catch a glimpse of one of the CTs, and Courage, of course, they are on an eco. It's Neo versus World we'll Edit, and Neo will hide, and Snacks with First Blood. What is Auto Director doing? Good stuff from Virtus Pro, and well, their slate was wiped to perfection. No Courage players alive after the end of that round domination from Virtus Pro and that's exactly what we want to see from Virtus Pro because you know we casted Virtus Pro's <coughs> yeah. game earlier on on Mirage they were strong they won the game with ease and we finally started to see the Virtus Pro that we saw at Katowice and the Virtus Pro that we've become accustomed to seeing on Mirage 
they did, you know, they, they've been one of those teams that's just been rising and rising and rising through the scene, and now they are really one to be reckoned with. And again, to, you know, to talk about kind of like the eco situation, when Virtus Pro were on ecos, they still looked deadly and they still looked like they could take it there. Virtus Pro lost courage down to an eco and they didn't get a single kill, so that kind of puts things into perspective in some sense. Obviously, not a true kind of representation of everything, but Taz is going to get a flash and they've not even noticed him at the second, so he's still hiding in those corners and he does that time and time again. He's going to pick up one. Taz gets the second one as well before Simple gets the revenge kill and takes him out. Now it's a three versus one situation. Simple is the last one left alive. He's on 31 HP. He does get taken out in the end there. Neo just cleaning him up. Three, four it is. It looks like Virtus Pro have taken three rounds on the trot. Are oh, they going to take four rounds on the trot and even things up? It looks so. And this is the thing that you do not want to happen to Virtus Pro. Well, when you're playing Virtus Pro, as soon as that kind of steam train starts to roll, and as soon as it starts to, you know, the smoke starts billowing out the top, it's uh, it's going to be a bit of trouble for whatever team they're facing up against. So we will see if they can continue that. And now Courage once again down to pistols, so they should be all even 4 4. Yeah, that's the thing. The second you give Virtus Pro that mental advantage, that confidence, Pasha will start pushing mid and pulling off shots like that, but he will go down, and Snacks is going to prepare for something special. And well, that was a special headshot. The bomb is near to snack. He doesn't know that, of course. Will that it will surely go down as well. And it's simple. All alone on his own in app. Snacks will spot him. It's M4 versus P250. And there we go. 4-4. It's even Steven once again. And oh, well, you know, we were doubting Verdus Pro when it was 4-0 to Courage, but Verdus Pro is just one of those teams. You should never doubt them. Their quality, their brilliant world class. And that's why they are the Intel Extreme Masters current CSGO champions to it. Yeah, indeed, that's exactly why. Showing their dominance, they didn't mind that they were 4-0 down against Curry. They were like, no, that's fine, we can still come back into this. Neo is going to get taken down by Simple. He's not one to take lightly with an AWP on any map by the looks of things. So that's going to mean the man advantage is in favour of Courage at the start of the ninth round here. Both teams able to buy though at the start is five uh, M sorry, yeah, four AK forty sevens and an AWP going up against four M fours now in this situation as it currently stands. Bomb is back towards spawn looks at the second, but that's a great kill coming in from Pasha there. Just about managed to finish the spray off with his M4A4 X-ray. There's gonna be another one coming in. Is he gonna get him as well? Yes he is blade's gone down and he knows that there's bomb there. That is crucial. Now that they know that the bomb is down, they can start to kind of gather their way over towards that or at least you know, know that if Courage want to start to get the bomb down and do something in this round, they've got to head into that area of the map. Dead One's going to try and push in, does get one. Revenge Guild comes in from Bayali, leaning it on a two-on-two -two situation. And now, suddenly, things have changed once again in favour of Courage. A simple and well there, alive against Bayali. Yeah, Bayali all by himself. He knew that that bomb was in and around this A-connector area. But I'll tell you what, Chewy, Simple's picked picked it up and he's running right off towards that B bomb site and I think Bayali knows that he's starting to rotate himself as well he's trying to stay close to the A bomb site just in case but the bomb will go down now or you'd expect it to come on simple the bomb site's clear you don't know that of course and there we go Bayali hears the bomb going down and it's so difficult to retake this bomb site from kitchen but will that it is on 10 HP Bayali will catch a glimpse of simple it's Bayali with the weight of the world on his shoulders he's making a lot of noise they know where he's going it's Bayali against oh. world edit lovely headshot from him and surely Bayali will will not get this clutch now he spots simple and simple with the headshot hat trick for simple and courage regaining their lead in this game. Yeah, that was a great round coming in from them. That was really back and forth. Definitely the best round that we've seen so far. I'm loving this action between these two squads. You know, some people predicted that Venus Pro were going to take it in good style, uh, but Courage not going out without a fight whatsoever. So, both teams able to buy up here in the 10th round. M4s and AK-47s is the name of the game. Bomb over towards apartments, well, in that area of the map anyway. It's going to be interesting to see where they decide to go with that, what decisions they are going to make. Anyway, we will have to see it is going to make its way towards mid and over towards that ramp section as well but I mean this has been a really interesting game so far we're only a third of the way in and it's been a very interesting so far as once again an interesting start as Prizrak takes out Pasha yeah he does take out Pasha and Pasha's such a crucial player for the Verdus Pro lineup and how does Prizrak do that the AWP shot through the smoke and Snacks is going to look to wreak havoc and even things out he does it's Taz and Snacks who are trying to shut down the angry Russians, but it is three versus two. Snacks is on low HP. He's all by himself. And Courage are still somehow 
in the lead. 6-4 is your score. And we've already seen Courage beat Kick today. They came so mm. close to beating... Who was it? Uh, alternate Attacks. Alternate Attacks on Inferno. And could Courage actually beat Virtus Pro now? Don't get me wrong. Obviously, six rounds on T-side for Mirage you know, is, 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 is not bad. It's good. But Virtus Pro, they've still got a lot of rounds to play with. They've still got money in the bank. So, you know, it's not game over just yet. And we know anything can happen in Counter-Strike Source. So, Smokes and Flashes will go out towards this B-bomb site. And uh, if they do decide to go there, which it looks like Courage are going to try and storm in there. The flashes are wasting no time whatsoever with those flashes. Pash is going to start to rotate as the train of terrorists begins to uh, leap down towards this B-bomb site. It's Blade. He's looking left. He's looking right. Snacks will dispose of him. And here we go. Courage are walking into this bomb site one by one. It's shooting practice for the poles. And here we go. Z1 between a rock and a hard place and now he's between the wall and that van because his face is slap bang on the floor he's down and Virtus Pro showing us a sign of intent in this game they've got round number five on the board now the gap is slowly decreasing between both both sides and uh, Courage are being forced to eco yeah I mean this is just back and forth between the two squads it really is it's such a close game so far from what we've seen it's really difficult to call you would expect Virtus Pro to once again even things up considering the fact that Courage here as you can see are on an eco round as Taz is going to get the first kill of the round onto World Edit Pash is going to push through and is able to get Prizrak down as well so already a 5 versus 3 simple it's going to take out Snacks there though that was great work with that C75 of course the latest edition of weapons in the CSGO arsenal Neo is going to get taken down as well so now now it's a three on three. Simple has been able to pick up an M4 and if Blader wow. can push forward he's going to get another one and what? How have Courage done this? As soon as I call that Virtus Pro should be able to take this round with ease and make things even 6-6, six, six, out of absolutely nowhere Courage have taken a simple eco round leaving Bialy in a one versus three situation. He is one versus three. He's going to pick round short and C1 disposes of him. And now you see the thing is there, Chewie. You obviously can't see what I'm drawing on the map. What happened was the person, I believe, was Snacks who died in the B-bomb site. He should have spotted that the bomb was in apps. But then what happened was Neo, for some reason, tried decided to push up, sorry, decided to push up mid. He got taken out. Pasha decided to push window. He got taken out when all they realistically had to do was all rotate themselves through jungle towards the B-bomb site and just stop that bomb from going down and simple drops the man of the biceps, drops Pasha, the pole from Katowice, and he is no more. Snacks has opted to go for his beloved shotgun, which he, of course, got an ace with the other day on Didas 2. So, Alvertus Pro going to manage to at least get something out this round, because Courage, they've been strong, and a lot of people have, have said that they've bet skins on, on Virtus Pro, and I was going to bet skins on Virtus Pro as well. Actually, I'm going to bet skins on Virtus Pro. Have I bet skins on Virtus Pro? I don't know. There's only if one I way have, to find uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> but it don't matter. I'm focusing on casting for now. So, Courage, they've got that one-man advantage, and they need to capitalize on it. Bayali's all eyes on Connect, and we can see the bomb making its way towards mid. And Neo, I think, will... Oh, look, Bayali will poke around the corner. Neo and Bayali, terrific crossfire on their behalf. And they will hear that AVP of Simple at the top of mid. Simple keeps it simple with one. World Edit is going to try and hunt Taz down. He's going, going. And Taz is gone. And it's two. No, it's one versus one. It's World Edit with the weight of the world on his shoulders. It's Snacks against one. It's a clutch situation. And Snacks is not looking in the right place. And Courage, ladies and gents, are three rounds up. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? And look at the buy situation for Virtus Pro. It should be 9-5. Unless they can do what Courage did earlier on and just win a crazy eco round, which, again, you kind of wouldn't put away from them. But it's just AK-47 Fest. They've got guns to spare in the Courage camp right now. 8-5 is your score. As you can see at the top of your screen, 14th round it is. And if they can make this 9-5, that's going to lead very, very well for them. And I can just see the chat just kind of being as gobsmacked as we are right now with this result. And not quite sure how it is happening. But this is Counter-Strike. Anything can happen for you. This is why we love the eSport. This is why we come back for more and more action. And this is why we are very grateful to have 1,600 people in the chat. Blade's going to get the first kill, though. Is Bialy going to respond? No, he's not. Snacks does eventually take down Blade after he got the first two kills of the round. It's a 4-on-3 situation. Blade, the only casualty so far 
for Courage. And there we go. We do see another player going down. That's going to be Snap stealing Taz and Pasha, the last two left alive. Now Pasha left alive. He has got an AK-47 in hand, but unless he can try and get a 1 versus 4 Ninja, uh, well, uh, yeah, 1 versus 4 Clutch and uh, the Diffuse as well, it should be 9-5. Well, someone's suggesting that they knew this would happen because Virtus Pro wants skin, so Virtus Pro have basically bet against themselves and they're going to give Courage the game. Uh, I'm not exactly quite sure that's exactly what Virtus Pro are rooting for, but, you know, if Courage do manage to build Could you imagine them, if they did that? You know what? I've could never you, thought of it like that before. But... Could you imagine if somebody did that, like, actually fixed the game, like, spot fixed it? You know, it's like... possible. It, it is very, it's, it's incredibly possible. And are there any rules against it? Well, obviously there's no rules against it. There shouldn't be, well, match fixing is against any sport or eSport, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know, but anyways, Courage well, I'm not going to put them on the spot and say that. We'll get in trouble if we say that anything. Nah, like nah, I'm, 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 I'm sure it's all, it's, all, it's all clean and legit. So, Bayali is all eyes on the A connector. And he's only got Taz with him on this A. No, he's got um, Pasha as well. So, we normally Pasha opts to go towards window room. In this case, he hasn't. Neo's going to play short to make up for Pasha's absence in window room. And, well, if the B guys pushed B in mid, they would know that no one, that none of the Courage players are actually there. And here we go, Gerani Mo, Z1 manages to flash himself and the rest of his teammates. And they will all march in towards this A bomb site. Neo begins the process of rotating. And here we go, Prizrak with the headshot, World Edit with the reverse frag. And those reverse frags against a team like Virtus Pro are so important. It is two versus two. Snacks will start rotating. Snacks will pop out of jungle. And it's good night simple two versus one two versus none nine six is the uh, score at the end of the first half in favor of courage actually um you were almost on the verge of saying Virtus pro there i was you know, I, I mean it's just, it's just it's just so so weird to like finish a half and where Virtus pro are playing and not say that Virtus pro are winning you know what i mean it's so it's we've become so used to saying that's the end of the first half in favour of Virtus Pro, in favour of Virtus Pro. Yeah, favor. right? It just falls out of the exactly. Time, the exactly. time perfectly that you're just used to saying it. But that's our fault, so hashtag blame the casters for saying something but like that. But Chewy, you shouldn't re ever do that. Remember in the last Courage game we covered? They were 10-5 up going into the second half against Ultimate. Yeah, that's and true. And then they blew it, so... If Virtus Pro pull a, a decent T-side out of the bag, which we all know they have under their belts, then... You know, this match could easily, in the blink of an eye, go back in Virtus Pro's favour. And yeah, they need to take this pistol round. We go on about it time and time again. How important it is to take the pistol rounds. They lost the first one. Are they going to lose the second one? And I do believe that means that we've seen, in all five pistol rounds that we've seen so far today, Courage have taken them all. Mm. So, let's see if they can do that. And again, talking about Courage kind of losing things earlier on, they won both pistol rounds on Inferno and still lost the map 16-14. So, uh, incredibly interesting but how that managed to happen to them. But are Courage going to make it 6 out of 6 on the pistol rounds from what we have casted tonight? We are about to find out. Let's see them start pushing towards A. Getting aggressive is going to be Virtus Pro. Of course, on the T side, Prizrak is going to get the first kill. That's going to give them a good advantage. Snack does reply, though, as does Taz as well. It looks like this could be going in favour of Virtus Pro. It's going to be a four on two situation. And let's see if Virtus Pro are going to be able to finish this one out. The bomb has been planted as well over on that A bomb site. So it looks like it could be five out of six for Courage, which isn't bad whatsoever. A snack scut knife into World Edit. Z1 is the last one left alive in a one versus three. But uh, Courage. Not the best of pistol rounds for them, unfortunately. Virtus Pro is just way too aggressive on the T side here in the first round, and that's going to be 9 7, which should mean that uh, if things go the way like that they should be going, it should be 9 9. But we've yeah. already yeah. seen Courage take an eco round against a full buy earlier on against Virtus Pro, so you never ever know. We have, but then again, Courage were T sided, so you know, it's obviously a different, completely different ball game now that they're the CT. So here we go, Virtus Pro wasting no time whatsoever to. Uh, Bombard this larger A bomb site with flashes and smokes. It's Pasha coming out of the apps, and it's Pasha to get first blood. And Neo walking past a counter terrorist. Now he has no idea that he is literally meters away from the CT. Snacks with that second kill. Oh, that pl the simple play, the simple, <laughs> simple, <laughs> simple. He actually spotted Snacks and was trying to knife him back for what happened in the first round. 
but no, nah, it wasn't meant to be. Got in a bit of a tongue twister. 9 8 is the score. And yeah, Courage, they're on that slightly more expensive CT side, guys, so they can't afford to go for the early buy. So on paper, you'd really expect Virtus Pro to take this one. Yeah, on paper. On paper. That's yeah. all we're saying, because they've already choked around when they had guns earlier on and Courage were on pistols, so you never quite know. You would, yeah, you would expect it to happen. Uh, but uh, I think this is going to be a really interesting match. The last Courage match that we saw on Inferno against uh, Alternate and Tax was uh, one to remember, and this looks like it definitely could be one to remember as well. Courage with all of the action today, and of course, they took out Kick earlier on on this map, uh, which you didn't expect them to do whatsoever. But Snacks and Taz, first two kills of the round. Prisrak and World Edit going down. Taz with his second one. He's going to get another one. Well, I can't even really finish off my sentence because all of the courage guys go down. We are all even heading into the 19th round. 9-9 nine, nine is your score, as you can see at the top. Everybody going to be able to buy them. And this is one thing which Virtus Pro need to watch out for. Simple, for the first time in his half, has been able to buy his all. Yeah, exactly, and we know how good he was on Inferno with that AWP. So I'll tell you what, obviously you you have to watch your auto director, but I'm going to go and take a quick peek at Simple. Um, he might just catch Neo with the bomb here at the top mid. It's going to be Neo or Pasha. They've managed to smoke the window room out, and yet it looks like Virtus Pro have expected him to be there. He will fall back and rotate towards the B-bomb site. So Neo will slowly tiptoe down mid, and he will smoke off connector of course that'll allow his teammate to go short and no CTs will be able to shoot them up the bump from behind so we've got not one but two CTs on the B bomb site awaiting these uh, nasty terrorizing terrorists to peek in it snaps with the AWP shot and whoop de doo Virtus Pro surely they're <laughs> gonna get round number 10 on the board now but no simple says no beautiful shot from him it's world edit on the bomb site task disposes of him it's snacks who will drop Prizak, but once again it's the man of courage it's simple who keeps pulling the trigger on that oh. avp it's the hat trick from simple is he gonna win this round single-handedly it was simple's awp versus stacks's awp and now it's blade all by himself, Snacks will take the four man. Terrific orping from the pole. And Virtus Pro, for the first time in this game, are in the lead. 10 9. And this is the Virtus Pro we've, you know, seen in the past few weeks that we've grown to love. And let's yeah, hope yeah. that they keep it up. Yeah, indeed, let's hope that they do. And uh, of course, as you do say, that is very right indeed. Didn't expect the first time that Virtus Pro would take the lead in the entire game is two th thirds of the way through on the 20th round. But 10 9 it is, they're getting aggressive on A. Let's see if they can push through. Prizrak is going to be one. He does take out Bash Pasha, sorry, is he going to take out a second? No, he's not. By Ali with two kills. He's got the duel so far. Let's see if he can pick up the hat trick. You can see he's going to push through. That's the hat trick for by Ali, I do believe. Another quick round coming in for Virtus Pro. When they get aggressive on A on the T side, they just pretty much dominate so far. From what I've seen, Pasha's the only one actually go down there. So 11-9 it is, two rounds in favour of Virtus Pro. And just having a look at the scoreboard to see what's going on in the situation there. 21-13 and 13 for Simple, what you would expect from him. He's top fragging he's and uh, doing some great work. Yeah, he is. He's a really great player, I have to say. And some of those AWP shots that we saw in the second to last round were just awesome. Snacks 21-12 and 12, though. There so he is he's doing again. good work. But Simple, there we go. We talked about him just two seconds ago and he's taken out Taz with the first pick of the round. It is the first pick of the round, and that's what Virtus Pro keep doing. They need to keep Simple at bay. They need to keep him asleep, so they keep smoking window room. But Snacks is going to see the CT, and Snacks without returning. Oh! <laughs> two from Snacks, single handedly opening this A bomb site. And now Virtus Pro is surely going to try and go mid to A. But Bayali wants to wreak havoc on the opposite bomb site, and he has done exactly that with the headshot onto Z1. It's three versus two. It's Bayali once again with head getting headshots for fun. And Prizrak is all alone. It's Prizrak versus Neo, and Neo will go down. And where is this bomb gonna go? We've got Bayali who will nade Prizrak. It's Prizrak hanging onto a thread. And Prizrak is no more. Virtus Pro, yes. This is the Virtus Pro we all love. They're finally back in the lead. And the weird thing is, uh, Chewy, I, I almost called you Courage then. The weird thing <laughs> is, Chewy, that Courage have managed to get no rounds as CT. 
No, they haven't, not at all. And I mean, we saw them earlier on on CT getting a lot of rounds, and then on the T side, they choked and only got one round or maybe two rounds, I think, earlier on on Inferno. And uh, still, we'll see what happens. And guys, I see a couple of comments in the chat. Hopefully, you don't think we've got any biased commentary. I know, uh, oh wow, Simple's actually gone down at the start of that. I know Kainat was getting some fat the other day because people thought he was being biased. I can guarantee you we are not biased towards any teams whatsoever. We just love Counter Strike esports action. This is what we come here to show you guys. We really do hope you're enjoying all of the action so thank you so much for tuning in we have got one hell of a great match on our hands Prizrak is the last one left alive though in a one versus five situation should be 13 to 9 in favor of Virtus Pro they've played so well here on the T side didn't have the best CT side only taking six rounds but since then they have looked so strong and I'm very very impressed with how they're playing so far on here and this is the thing you just can't underestimate them even though Courage were looking so strong came into the second half with a three round lead just the way that Virtus Pro said, okay, now we need to step up. <laughs> <laughs> As Pasha just puts his fade into the back of his throat. So there we go. 13 to 9 is your score. As I say, we do hope that you guys are enjoying the stream and are enjoying our casting. We are certainly having a great time casting. But on to the 23rd round. Kainite, take it away. Yeah, 23rd round indeed. And Virtus Pro, they're three rounds away from taking the lead. And Courage, it's not called being biased, guys. It's called just saying things how they are. Courage, they're yet to get one round as CT on this map. They had such a good T side against Virtus Pro. But fingers crossed this is gonna be Courage's round. But Virtus Pro, they're gonna push straight into this A bomb site wasting absolutely no time whatsoever. It's Simple who's got a smoke between him and those Oh the double from Simple <laughs> sensational from him. He's gonna go in search of the hat trick. And well 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 that man once again simple doing the impossible well it's obviously not impossible because he just did it. <laughs> Stacks up in all alone. He's uh, in the same place. The rest of his teammates got slaughtered in. He's got that AWP in hand and he's got four angry counter terrorists chasing after him. They're trying to all knife him. He will take down one. He's. Well, <laughs> it's a knife they're fight, guys. Oh, they're all going for him. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh dear. Deary me. Is this like an I like the way serious game of Counter Strike? Up. Yes, yeah, serious game, and they're all just having banter with knives. I think that's uh, the second kill that we've seen in like normal rounds, apart from obviously the knife rounds, which is a, uh, which is a uh, nice and snacks puts in the chat. I will be back. So <laughs> having a laugh indeed. So there we go. Full buys coming in from both squads. <laughs> By the looks of things, we're into the 24th round. Three round difference between the two squads, and Simple gets shut down. Finally, Pasha able to win the orc battle in the middle of the map. That's been one of the crucial things so far that I have to say. I mean, whoever kind of takes that initial orc battle seems, in my opinion, from what I've seen, to take the round, but he never knows. Pasha gets his second kill of the round, and he is going to get the third as well. So hat trick for Pasha. Two kills with his orc, one with the CZ75 as well. Well, then it's going to be the last one left alive. He has got an orc. He is going to take out Pasha, though, so no more kills for him. He's going to get the second one. Now he's going to pick up an M4. Let's see what work Taz can do. Is World Edit going to make one crazy hell of a clutch? We're about to find out. He's still got a lot of, uh, you know, big task on his hands as the bomb has been planted as well. Let's see what he can do. Definitely not a nice task to face up against Snaz, the Snack, sorry, and Taz when they've got two AK-47s. But uh, there we go, 14-10 it is, and Virtus Pro two rounds away from taking the game. Yeah, they are two rounds away from taking the game. We can see Taz's finances. He's got over $11,000, Chewy, and that's after buying. So he's, he's pretty much rolling in the cash at the moment. Wow. But Courage, they have finally got their first round of CT on the board. And fingers crossed, I really do hope they can build on it and uh, get a few more on the board. So let's have a look at what's going to go on here then. The smokes will go out and pretty much Virtus Pro have pretty much just walked straight into this bomb site. Uh, made it look uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy and they're getting frags left, right and center as well. They are two men up but Prizrak is playing ninja. He's not shooting and he will stop the bomb going down. It's two uh -oh. from Prizrak. Oh and the third wasn't meant to be. It's two versus two. It's Z1's M4 versus Snacks with his AK. 47, he will lob that grenade out, Snacks is all by himself, and well, this ain't gonna be easy, but Z1 is on 6 HP, so if he manages to dispose of him, it's just simple versus Snacks. So, 50 seconds and counting, there's plenty of time for Snacks to potentially get this round back on the board. Snacks, here's the AWP of Simple. Snacks will drop Z1. And we saw Snacks earlier on get a clutch on Mirage. Is he going to do it again? It's AK versus AWP. Oh, and Simple gets the frag. And it was so close for Snacks. So close for the team from Poland. Yet so far, Encourage 
have finally got another round on the board, so fair play to them. Yeah, 14-11 it is. We do apologise if there is any lag on the stream. I'm not sure if Karnak's dropping any uh, frames. It may just be uh, GoTV lag. Hopefully it's nothing too uh, bad for you guys, though, and we are all good to go. So, yeah, thank you very much for still tuning in for us. We hope you're enjoying this game. It looks like it could go right down to the wire. Virtus Pro looked really strong there, then out of nowhere. Prizrak almost got a hat-trick. He did pick up two with that 5-7, but still, great work coming in. He really was one of the differential players there in that last round. So let's have a look and see what Virtus Pro are going to do. You've got Neo on your screen right now making his way over towards the A-bomb site. We're not going to see anybody initially as he starts to put through. Snacks gets the first kill of the round taking out Blade. Prizrak is going to actually come from T-spawn so let's see if he can do any sneaky beaver work as he starts to put through. Simple again with an orb shot onto Tass. How does he keep doing that? How is he just pulling these off? Simple please give me some of your power. I swear down and here we go. This is why Prizrak is dangerous. Two kills coming in on by Ali and Neo. He does get taken out in the end. It's a two versus two. Z1 and Simple going up against Snacks and Pasha. Yeah, it's Snacks with the CZ75 and AWP in hand. Snacks, he's got two kills already so far to his name. And he has that AK-47 in hand. But it's Simple versus Snacks. And Simple doesn't miss from there. And now it's Pasha's AWP versus Simple's AWP. And Z1's FAMAS, of course. And, well, what do you know? It's going to be Z1's FAMAS to get the kill. And 14-12. You know, Courage were in the lead. And then we saw Virtus Pro pull the comeback off. But imagine now if Courage managed to get the comeback off again and managed to win the game. I mean, a lot of people are saying this game is fixed. I mean, even if I was writing the nah. script for this game, I wouldn't have been able to write it better myself. So fair play to both teams. They're giving us a, an absolutely terrific spectacle to watch at the moment. And over to you, Chewie. Yeah, okay, so let's see what's going to happen in the 27th round. Lots of flash grenades going down as we do see Virtus Pro trying to make their way down towards short. Not going to work though. That's three going down off the start. Exactly what they didn't want. Pasha is going to reply, but he only takes down one. So that already means that this is looking really good for Courage once again to come back into this. Prizrak is going to take down one. Pasha's going to get cleaned up as well. That looked really easy there for Courage. They predicted that they were going to go short. They took them out in clean fashion. One round is the difference. Courage slowed down towards the middle of this map so far, but since then, they've started to come back into this. They were 9-6 up after the half, if you are just joining us a tiny bit later, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's 14-13, so Virtus Pro still do have the lead, but look what they have in their arsenal. Pistols only. We've seen them come very, very close mm -hmm. to taking eco rounds earlier. Courage took an eco round themselves earlier on in the game, which is why this has been such a phenomenal one to cast, but if things go according to the script, it should be 14 all, but the script has been changing kind of every <laughs> single round pretty much so far. Yeah, whoever's been writing the script for this game, you know, he deserves uh, a pay rise because this has just been absolutely phenomenal to watch. And there we go. So far, it's going according to the script. Blade uh, nailing Snacks in the head. Prizrak joining in on the action as well. And it's Pistols versus an AK-47, an M4, and two AWPs. Taz with a headshot onto Blade. Three versus two now. And, well, what do you know? Simple finally misses an AWP shot. They'll, uh, Did he really just do that? You know what they say. There's a first time for everything. And that bomb <laughs> will go down. And that's going to be so crucial for Neo and Co. And it's Neo to try and hold out and get this clutch. He's got World Edit, who is only on 4 HP. So, you know, take nothing away from Neo. It's doable. But World Edit says, I'm sorry, Kyanite, not on my watch. And Courage are at level pegging. But Virtus Pro, Chewie, they got the bomb down. They managed yeah, to take they out did, three out of five CTs. And as they've been see, very close with their recos, money. haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've been really close with their ecos throughout the game so far. There's not really been too many ecos which Courage have taken in swift fashion, so to speak, I would say. But guys, just on another note as well, we appreciate that there's 2,000 people in here and you're enjoying the action and it's very tense, but please try and prevent yourself from posting any scores. We know that you can see it a slight bit earlier in other places, but please try and keep it just for the suspense factor because we know that there are a lot of people in here who are just going to be enjoying uh, the game from uh, this perspective and this is going to be the first place that they find out when we cast so it's unfair if you kind of ruin it for them before they actually see it just by posting a few numbers in the chat so we would really appreciate that if you didn't post any scores and I'm sure the mods will stay on top of that but simple he only misses once he does not miss again and that means that he's going to get two in a row to make up for it Prizrak is going to get the third this is all falling apart the third is pro or is it Snacks comes in and gets two Taz with another one Taz is the last one left alive he looks like he could try and get that bomb down one's going to come through connector and one is going to come through CT spawns, or oh, actually no, he's going to fake the bomb plant, he's not going to get it down, but he's got to come big here, because if he loses this round, it's going to be match point in favour of Courage. There we go. 
Match point in favour of Courage. Courage are back in the lead, guys. Courage are back in the lead. And one more round, one more round, and Courage will beat our Katowice champions. And that is what we love about Counter Strike. Honestly, anyone on their day can beat anyone. I mean, Virtus Pro, who is it that they beat in that first game, Chewy? Remind me, because my memory is crap. Uh, uh, on Mirage. It, yeah, Virtus Pro beat Kick on Mirage early on. But Courage, even though many would argue that Kick are a better side. Courage are one round away from winning this game, and I feel excited. I like Virtus Pro, but you know what? We've casted three Courage games today, and I love the character that they have. They just never give up their style. They've been brilliant, and can they make it 16-14 in their favor? Only time will tell. Neo has the bomb on his back, and it looks like Virtus Pro are preparing for some sort of push onto the A bomb site. It looks like it's Blade versus Taz here on the on the balcony area. Taz is going to get flashed. No, it's Blade who's flashed and Taz will nail him in the head. And is that the kill that Virtus Pro needs? Taz with the double and Courage are two men down. Maybe about three men down. And I think 15-15 is on the cards. It's Z1 all by himself. It's Z1 to win the game for the Russians. He's been flashed. Neo surely will take him down. No, Courage is not going to give up. And he will have to reload his weapon. 15-15. And I do believe... We're going to go into overtime, and what is wrong with GoTV? It's just turned uh, upside down. Oh, there we go. Oh, really? Has it? My, yeah, mine's it was sort of turned upside down, but... Ah, right. Wow! Okay, so there we well, go. That <sighs> was one hell of a game. 15-15 overall. Simple oh, wait, no, there's no overtime. No, oh, is it not? Oh, I don't know, because no, Courage players have left. Oh. oh. I wanted overtime. I wanted overtime as well. It would be my first ever time casting over overtime. I'm gutted. Well, um, I think a lot of people who bet on Virtus Pro are pretty much thanking God right now because. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Because that. Look, look at the chat. I just see somebody just going. Phew my skins. In thank God. Letters. Thank God, my skins. But yeah, my God, my money is back. Courage, ninety percent for their next match. Virtus Pro hanging onto a thread. Courage came close, but I'm sure they'll be able to take out, take back a lot of positives from that game. And guys, that is going to be it from us. We've casted a heck of a load of games um, today. I want to cast more. I don't want to leave. Can we like get some people in and cast over them or something? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know it's late, but I'm loving this, man. This is great fun. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm Kyanite, and you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Reason Gaming TV, and remember to follow the Twitch channel as well. And uh, go ahead, Chewy. Yeah, you can follow me as well. My Twitter is at it's Chewy, so that's I T S C H E W W Y. I'm sure Kynite will put up the graphics right at the end, so you can see that as well. If he hasn't already on the screen, I can't see it because the stream is delayed. And I'm sure Mo Mods will uh, post it as well. But guys, thank you so much. We didn't know what our viewership was going to be like this evening because we know that there are some other great matches going on and some other great streams going on. But the fact that we hit, I think I saw at 1.2,800 viewers, is just phenomenal. Thank you so much. We are going to be doing a giveaway sometime soon. I'm sorry that that can't come your way tonight but we'll make sure that gets sorted i said that we would do a giveaway once we hit 1000 followers and we doubled that on the yeah. evening that i announced that so i mean it will come in time i do promise you i will sort See, it out um but we're poor university students so we've got to make sure that we can get it sorted soon well it's not really the financial uh, aspect which is the issue is that the twitch giveaway plugin isn't actually That's working true. at the moment so we so if we were to do the giveaway we'd need the you know the twitch plugin to 